Mr. Steve Collette for Congress. Let me say a few words first. Uh, a certified public accountant with a master's in business taxation. Steve is for tax simplification and opposes tax subsidies which enrich special interests and add complexity to the tax laws. Low tax rates to encourage economic growth and restrain government spending. Mr. Steve Collette. First of all, I'd like to say it's a, it's a real honor to be here. And uh, I've gotten to know some of the earlier speakers uh, quite well and have uh, a lot of respect for them. Rick Williams uh, is a terrific guy. Uh, Brian, Steve, um, they worked, I've watched these guys work very hard registering Republicans uh, at uh, LA Liberty headquarters, which uh, has been my, um, my CPA firm offices that uh, we've opened up and uh, some amazing uh, Republican volunteers getting a lot of uh, people registered into the party and uh, they're really a terrific group of people. Uh, I'd also um, like to uh, point out Christopher David who um, I'm running against in the election, but uh, uh, he's, uh, I have a lot of respect for Chris also. Man. Love you too, man. <laughs> <laughs> People ask, how does a CPA become a, uh, you know, run for political office? Why, why did I do that? I've, uh, I've been fighting for taxpayers for 35 years as a CPA. I've got a master's in business taxation from USC, which uh, you mentioned. I got that in 1981. Uh, I've gone back to school. I'm getting a second master's degree in public policy right now at, uh, at UCLA, which uh, has been, uh, uh, I think, a, a tremendous asset in exposing me to a lot of people and um, understanding how policies are analyzed. One of the things that, that uh, you do as a public accountant is you compare numbers. I was reading in the paper the other day, Jerry Brown's trying to, you know, scare everybody by closing the national parks to save $22 million. And you do a little cost-benefit analysis on that. He wants to scare taxpayers, so, oh, no, we've got to increase our tax rate from 10% to 13%. I mean, a 30% state tax increase is what he's proposing. People are, the wealthy people are going to, at the margins, will leave the state. Uh, so that certainly isn't the solution, but Jerry Brown wants to frighten people well, if you do some calculations. We have 65 million people visit our state parks every year. Uh, and we're going to try to save $22 million. Our sales tax revenue from, from whatever, whatever they're buying going there, probably what we collect on gas tax, would cover that $22 million. So you don't cut the $22 million to try to, you know, to try to save anything because the state's getting much more revenue than the $22 million by keeping those state parks open without having to increase taxes one dime. We don't need more prisons. We don't need more foreign military intervention. We don't need insurance mandates.